Why They Leave Us, delivered on March 21st, 1886, at the Metropolitan Tabernacle Newington by Charles Spurgeon. Breathe the home air. Jesus tells us that the air of his home is love. You have loved me before the foundation of the world. Brothers and sisters, can you follow me in a great flight? Can you stretch broader wings than the condor can and fly back into the unbeginning eternity? There was a day before all days when there was no day but the ancient of days. There was a time before all time when God only was the uncreated, the only existent one. The divine three, Father, Son, and Spirit, lived in blessed camaraderie with each other, delighting in each other. Oh, the intensity of the divine love of the Father to the Son! There was no sun, no moon, no stars, no universe, but God alone. And the whole of God's omnipotence flowed in a stream of love to the Son, while the Son remained eternally one with the Father by a mysterious eternal union. How did all this which we now see and hear happen? Why this creation? This fall of Adam, this redemption, this church, this heaven. How did it all come about? It didn't have to be this way. But the father resolved to show the glory of his son to those whom he had chosen. This fall and redemption and the story as a whole, so far as the divine purpose is concerned, are the fruit of the father's love to the son and his delight in glorifying the son. Friends, I am lost in this subject now. I breathe that heavenly air. Love surrounds all and conquers grief. I now utter only this. Hold your friends lovingly, but be ready to yield them to Jesus. Don't hold them back from the one to whom they belong. When they are sick, fast and pray, but when they are departed, do as much as David did, who washed his face and ate and drank. You will go to them. They cannot return to you. And comfort yourselves with the double thought of their joy in Christ and Christ's joy in them. Add the triple thought of the Father's joy in Christ and in them. Let us watch the Master's call. Let us not dread the question, who next and who next? Let none of us start back as though we hope to linger longer than others. Let us even desire to see our names in the celestial roll call. Let us be willing to be dealt with just as our Lord pleases. Let no doubt intervene. Let no gloom encompass us. Dying is but going home. Indeed, there is no dying for the saints. I have seen many faces of dear departed ones lit up with splendor. Of many, I could feel sure that they had seen a vision of angels, traces of a reflected glory hung about their countenances. Oh, brothers and sisters, soon we too shall know more of heaven than all the Christian scholars can tell us. Let us go home now to our own dwellings, but let us pledge ourselves that we will meet again. We will meet with Jesus where he is, where we shall behold him in all his glory. Amen.